There was a lot of news this week, especially cruise news. But we'll get to that later. I'ma keep a rising. Say keep going higher. I keep going higher. I keep yeah, I keep yeah. I Hello and welcome to Planet Pluto Travel, and I'm your host, Alana DeRose. Last week, we learned that Odyssey of the Seas has officially arrived at its new home port in Haifa, Israel. Well, now, the Israel Ministry of Tourism has announced that it will open up its borders to international fully vaccinated travelers starting May 23rd, 2021, under a phased approach. We have come so far, and it is for this reason we are adapting this pro active strategy of having a phased opening. Tourism Commissioner of North America, E.O. Carla, announced on the news as Israel has closed off its borders to tourism for over a year now. 60% of Israel's population has been vaccinated, and with the U.S. and Israel using the same vaccines, the Pfizer and Moderna, we are hopeful that by summer we can open our doors wide and welcome every visitor to Israel who would like to come. However, for the details for this will be announced next week, but we know a couple things for sure. Israel will open up May 23rd to allow a tour groups. Individual travelers will be welcomed in July as a part of a later phase. Visitors will be required to undergo a PCR test before boarding a plane to Israel, and visitors will have to do a serological test to prove their vaccination once they arrive at Ben Gurion Airport in Israel. Until countries can figure out and agree on a way to show vaccination certification, we will still need a serological test when we arrive in airport. Only opening the skies for international tourism will truly revive the tourism industry, including restaurants, hotels, sites, tour guides, and others looking to work and provide their for their families, Israeli Minister of Tourism or Re for Kash Hakotin stated. However, Israel isn't the only vacation destination ready to get back to somewhat normal. As Orange County, Florida is eliminating their requirements of social distancing and mask wearing slowly in phases. Orange County, Florida Mayor January Demings announced the ch announced plans to change the COVID-19 executive order after the Biden administration had announced that they were going to become more lenient on the mask wearing and social distancing order. Orlando, Florida is one of the cities a part of Orange County, Florida. And that's also the home for Disney World and Universal Orlando. Walt Disney World and Universal Orlando Resort have not yet made announcements regarding changes to their physical distancing and mask requirements beyond Walt Disney World's recent change allowing maskless photos outdoors, according to Universal Park News today. These changes will come in three different phases depending on vaccination level. Phase one will be effective immediately and social distance requirement from six feet to three feet. Then phase two begins when over 50% of the population over the age of 16 has received their first dose of the vaccine and face covering mandate will be lifted for outside. Then phase three begins when 70% of the population over the age of 16 has received their first dose of the vaccine and Orange County's 14 day positivity rate is 5% or lower. At this phase, all mandates will be lifted, meaning no mask indoors. The CDC has also been considering reducing their physical distancing recommendation, and recent studies have found that a three-foot distance is safe when wearing a mask, according to Universal Park News Today. Also, only 35.7% of the eligible participants, people who are ages 16 and up, have been fully vaccinated. And it seems that airlines are starting to take notice that there will start to be a high demand for air travel again, as Delta Airlines has plans to enhance Wi-Fi connectivity on its planes. Delta Airlines is planning to enhance its Wi-Fi connectivity on all its planes by 2022 with its new Delta Portal program. The new program will allow guests to browse, shop, stream at high speeds with their device when flying. Delta's Vice President of Brand Experience, Brian Merritt, stated, 
Technology and entertainment are key parts of our customers' lives. By equipping our fleet with enhanced Wi-Fi capabilities, we are taking steps to ensure we can adapt to the different ways our customers will use technology during their journey both today and in the future. The airline will initially equip more than 300 aircraft with high-speed COP band satellite connectivity powered by Viasat by the end of 2021, according to Travel Pulse. This will set a motion a hostile installation timeline and scale to update the experience when on board the plane. Starting June of 2021, customers on VSI enabled planes will be able to join and use the high-speed connectivity for a cost as low as $8. And this is the same for every single plane. And what you will have to do is go to deltawifi.com and then make your purchase for any device, any device you want to use, and make your purchase for any device you want to use through the Delta Portal platform, and it is $8 for every device. According to Travel Pulse, Delta's first VSI-enabled aircraft, a new Airbus A321 CEO, will enter regular service on May 1st. Now that is all I have for you today. If you would like to see more news, reviews, and blogs, of course you do. Hit that red subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload more content. Also, check out our other news video. Yes, there were two this week because yes, there was a lot. So go check that out. That will be popping up in the iBox sooner or later. And of course, as usual, all news articles to the news stories I have just explained to you will be down in the description below. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. Also, follow us on social media. Yeah, do that. Yeah, go ahead and do that because pff, why not? And with all that being said, bye you guys and stay safe. I'm a keeper.